8 tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you that how we can provide an interface from where user can insert the data in to database so if you go to v file once again index blade here you can see the option has been given here to create new product so this is the syntax here routes product then create so what is this product actually if you go to the browser and type here create then it will call this function which one let's go to controller file and then this function actually will be calling here here this function is being called okay since we don't have any data that's why the page is displaying here blank now we will put the code there to call for uh, from we will put here we will put here simple one line code to display the form so that means what we have to create a blade file called create right now let's go to here and create here inside resources blog then resources views then products here create dot blade dot php we will put the code later here but at least you can see that this one is being called here now let's go to here and refresh it and you can see form here now we will put the code of form and in this page I will write this code here so what once again what we are doing we are calling this master template which there is bootstrap you can see and then a new product and uh, if there will be any error then all error will be displaying here and this is store so after clicking this function will be called and rest of the things are common so here you can see the first one is product name second one is description this is text area and the price the third one okay so now let's go to here and then it refresh it and wow the form has come here so product name you will be insert, inserting product name description and then price say mm, sir right sir and then price without if we try to submit here then it will show error or it will show nothing because what happens if you want to see here control you press control u and you see the form action so if you see here the form action you can see here that it will go to products but in actual it will go to store here you can see action route products store so this function will be called in this case so we need to write code here to for data insert insertion but before that let's try once but what happens you can see it is showing blank because in that function we have written nothing so now we will write here code to insert the data let's write the code the code is validate so these are the validation here product name and will be capital here product name required description required price required so in case we forget then it will show error then create so this is the function which is acting as insert so it is more of like insert into into products and then value uh, field name okay so it's working like this but you can see that how concise how brief it is how small the function it is for inserting that is why framework is used so that you don't have to write the long code 
the function is already there okay after inserting the data it will go redirect to index file with this message success product created successfully so that is why now you come here index.blade to this section here okay so this success message you can see is coming actually from here so like you can tell here okay so whatever message will be passed to so this message is passing here and ultimately it is going to there message and same way if there is any error here if there is any error then this error whatever error will be it will be loop looped through and it will display the error here for example if you want to uh, let's uh, show me so index in index actually so this message will be displaying here now let's get back to this file and now refresh it and let's try to insert something without entering anything here you can see it is showing the list of the errors so how it is displaying in fact it is displaying from here okay sorry not here actually uh, from here this one is displaying here from here if you want to check then simply remove this and try once again you will not see any error there the error will be there but these messages will be not displaying you the fact is something i think i deleted somewhere else. okay because there is no data that's why so you can understand the data is coming from here okay now let's enter the real data and see whether it is inserting or not so i will write in here cert then write cert and then 600 you can see data successfully inserted and also this message is displaying here which is coming actually from this one okay so you have you can see it is working perfectly inserting the data perfectly now in the next video I will show you that if we click on this so button then its detail should show into that okay and if we click on edit then the data can be edited and if we click on delete then data will be deleted so stay connected and see you in the next video bye bye